Hi Q, season three, episode four. I think last time Suki had something to say. Hoping it's positive. For what? Yes, for what? Good! Yes, this is what I was waiting for. I didn't know it would come from Suki though, which is great. <laughs> uh, you can take him with you, I guess. Do you, Hinata. <laughs> so this is only the fourth episode, but so far this has been a really interesting experience for me doing reaction videos because I think it's one of the first times, or the first time, at least that I can remember, where the analysis of Hinata's actions and the way people are reacting to him varies so widely person to person. But yeah, there's a lot of ambiguity about the characters and their motivations, their levels of goodness, and whether or not Hinata's actions were selfish. It's been fun to consider other people's perspectives on it. I think where I stand on it overall after seeing Hinata making his decision and entering and getting to this point, seeing how he reacts to their treatment of him doing that, is that while I think there was something naive about it, and yeah, maybe even a little bit selfish about it. Overall, I respect it. I respect the ambition, I respect the drive, and part of the reason for that, and also the reason why it could have been the other way, depending on how Hinata acted in this training camp, is that he kind of accepted what it meant to do that. He didn't really make any demands. After some reflection, he became gracious about being the ball boy. He's not sitting around moping. He's using it to his advantage. And obviously the insider lessons that are missing for him that caused him to kind of make this leap, he is now currently addressing. Like that great Takeda speech about starting from the first step helped him turn what was kind of a rash action to something that is more purposeful, more self-directed, humbler than just like, I want to be recognized as one of the best like everyone else. It optimizes what could have been a big mistake into something that will be great for him. And I mean, like what else is there? Everyone's kind of living blindly for the most part. No one really knows what's going to happen, but you take your shots and then you try to do good with those shots, if that makes sense. Overall, I think these kinds of risks contain some of the greatest rewards and can help one gain access to other things that have been previously unavailable as long as there's no harm being done to others, as long as it's being done with open eyes and that you bear responsibility for whatever ripples your action causes. Episode 4, Take It Easy. Yeah. If this episode is about Kageyama, I don't think there's going to be any taking it easy. would love to see his perspective on this too. See, everyone thinks Hinata is like the, the lower one here. And the Kageyama's made it. But I have a strong feeling that Kageyama is going to be... His path is going to be just as difficult, it's in a different way. The opposite. What a question. Yeah. Kind of insulting, a little bit condescending. Matter of fact, two people did. It's ambiguous. We still don't know. <laughs> Was it a block or not? Where does the block end and a receipt begin? This guy must be a Shiwaka fan. Is this a compliment? Takes all types to play volleyball. It's nice to see Kagama not eating alone. <laughs> Why do I feel like that would be a very real possibility? This guy looks very anime. I don't explain it, he just looks different. Hard to tell what's going on with him, but my overall feeling is that it was a positive experience for him. Very insightful. Hinata just unraveled the story he'd been telling himself for comfort for so long. Hinata's success in a way was his failure, failure of spirit. It's not just upset about a loss, it's, it's more of an existential upset. But then it's also got to be exciting, right? It's like pain by inspiration. Sometimes seeing people do amazing things hurts, especially, or maybe exclusively, if it's something that you yourself desire. Envy is the easiest reaction. I think that looking at it more positively, it can be a great source of inspiration. That energy can be used positively, productively. It could be a wake-up call to the fact that things one has been discounting for the assumption that it's impossible aren't actually possible, which can carry over to more than just the specific endeavor in which that happened. It's like, maybe I've been thinking too small. Maybe I have blind spots. Why not me? Etc. Being a famous volleyball player, ship has sailed for the coach, but that's just one facet of life. 
俺たちが学生の時下記に当たった先生いたろ次の日から自主練になったやつですよね懐かしいな Nada versus Suki. Wow, been waiting so long just to touch the volleyball on the court. I'm a block. I'm a middle. 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 There you go. Nada's giving something back, I guess. Tributing. It's a practice. Uh oh. I have some friends here who play volleyball recreationally. I was talking to someone who played middle blocker, said it's the hardest position. I'm a middle. I'm a middle. I'm a middle. Well, he's got big shoes to fill. Koitsmo Barele Kimishikaite Kitakido Sasagata deco Yami Kumani Tonder Wakishanai. He's a brick in that iron wall or whatever. Little Kata Spike on a Kakiko, Moto Shibia Nare Kakiko Utoite Hinata Gasoto, Broke, the Mutator Spike on a Tashka. Remember when Suki didn't care? Remember when he didn't stay for extra practice? Compact and zippy is Kagama's middle name. As I was about to say, he's trying, yeah, he's... He's giving it a lot of effort. I feel like communication might end up becoming one of his strengths just because he's, you know, working on it so hard, so consciously. That looks familiar. It's like a white-haired Hinata. Unmoved. Hello. Something about your jumping is familiar. No, I would remember your appearance. Takes all types to play volleyball. Takes all types. Yes. It's not because you're playing. It's your face. なかなかトゲトゲしい第一印象やったけどプレーは大分お利口さんよなはあ。This can't win sometimes. Get flack for being a jerk. Get flack for being conscientious. It's a lot of ego around here. It'd be great if Fanada was somehow already up there. His defense just got that good. 無駄がない感じが。Hinata learning what not to do, as much as learning what to do. Taking it easy. Not sure what insight Hinata is getting there. Coincidentally, I was just watching a video with Arnold Schwarzenegger talking about his plan or his philosophy, sort of. And one thing he was talking about that stuck with me is how a lot of people conserve energy based on their expectations of the total routine. So, for example, if someone is planning on doing five total sets, they will perhaps take it easy on the first two sets, trying to conserve energy so that they can con complete the full number of sets. And Schwarzenegger was saying that that's the wrong way to do it, that every rep every set should be done at max effort that that's the way to true growth which i thought was interesting and i thought that that's something more universally applicable than just for bodybuilding i imagine that that would lead to much greater growth though i think perhaps in games energy conservation does seem like an important skill but perhaps that's more beneficial when it's looked at as not making any unnecessary movements whereas necessary movements that actually contribute should be done at full energy full strength and knowing the difference Knowing how to utilize the two is a skill in itself. Like, you don't want to let a point go to conserve energy for other points, right? Though I get the temptation. I get the reasoning. How tall is he? Just in general, let's, let's not do any dinking. I don't know what dinking is. <laughs> They're just legitimately pissed off. 
余裕がある感じがすんなってオッケー<笑>すげえ見てくる<笑> Not as like, no, I don't know. What would you call that? Awareness of inappropriateness. Wow, he's having a sympathetic flashback, even though it's not a tournament game. Amazing. Must be really bad. It's not a good feeling. Not a good feeling to feel like you're dragging things down. Well, you got his wish. Whoa, dude, chill. Take it easy. <laughs> I don't know if that feels good. It feels good to be complimented on your height. Right, right. I look at the bright side. You can increase your skill. Can't really increase your height. That's such a two meter tall person thing to say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was such a, like, insensitive, unaware thing to say to Hinata of all people. Uh, you know, it is frustrating to see people with gifts you wish you had squander their gifts or not appreciate them fully. He says lovingly. It reminds me, like, I have a friend who's just super good looking. He, he's super, just, he's stunning. Always getting approached, but he can sometimes be shy around people he likes or just any one of the opposite sex. And I want to, like, grab him and shake him, like, man, if I look like you. <laughs> Yep, and that is definitely contributing, not just taking. That's what you thought! You underestimated how tall two meters really is! Stretch! <laughs> Loosen up! So that's what it meant. Coach is noticing this, right? He's seeing this. Right, right. He said that they have more time on Kunimi's team. Control the rhythm. Take a second to breathe. Feel the force of two meters. That's two meter power in your face. Not a jumped up from ball boy to coach. How tall is he? <laughs> Wow, Hinata crushed Shiratorizawa's coach's outlook on life and his coaching abilities. What does he have left? Besides all his championships. Can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see more focus on Kagama's journey. I feel like Hinata's one has already had a happy ending. <laughs> Just because it stems from Hinata. All good, all good things flow from Hinata's soul, so that it can't be bad. He's the locus of his own outlook and energy. He is the symbol or perspective of somebody with disposition. The right disposition, the right heart. So, you know, I don't really worry about him. Kagama is still kind of rooted in that world of result circumstance, which is not bad. He's playing volleyball. Their goal is to win. He wants a career. He wants to be pro. But as a result, it's a little bit less in his own hands. And he's moved up significantly in the ranks so that everyone he's with is excellent as well. So how does he stand out? You know, does he rise to the challenge? Also, there's a ton of haters. He's working without his best ally, Hinata. He's also working on his personality simultaneously, which is not easy. It might even be more difficult than working on volleyball. The invitations thing was a huge win for Kageyama and seemingly a loss for Hinata. At least on the surface, you know, it'll depend on how things go for each of them. They're also dealing with different levels of expectation. Hinata, obviously, no one is expecting anything of him in this camp because he came in as an outcast. He ate crap a lot and it doesn't feel great to be in that position, but there's also an advantage to it, which is that he can't sink lower. No one's really paying attention to him, or at least not at first until he's sort of proving himself. There's a freedom in that where he can observe. I mean, literally, he's observing. Kagama does not have that luxury. There's a huge weight on his shoulders in terms of what people think he can do and want to, want to see him do. It's really tough to say what is optimal for people. There are a lot of intangibles 
but sometimes being an ace you know, or being someone with a lot of potential that's recognized being a prodigy can work to someone's disadvantage if they don't know how to handle it or if they're not adequately prepared or if they have terrible experiences. Whereas it's not uncommon to see underdogs that had no expectations placed on their shoulders end up shining and even reaching you know, super high spots in their fields. The example you hear all the time is Michael Jordan being cut from his high school basketball team. I don't know basketball enough to give an alternative example, but I know for a fact there are tons of people who have a lot of hype going to the NBA and then just never really materialize into anything. I guess the question is, what is that? What is the determiner of success? And I think it's a more complex answer than I can really assess at this point. But I will say one thing that definitely is helpful or is easy to point to is the kind of spirit that Hinata possesses. Because while it's not certain he will succeed or, or realize his dreams, it is clear that if he doesn't, it will have nothing to do with who he is or what he's tried. Like, it's not going to be a lack of effort or a lack of self-motivation. Because he is who he is, he's going to reach the highest possible point he can reach. I mean, I have faith in Kagayama too. He's proven himself to be very resilient, very dedicated, able to adjust, able to make changes, able to self-reflect and adapt. But it doesn't come across as clearly from Kagayama to me than it does from Hinata, so far at least.